And that's your Caribbean report for tonight. And coupling with the first story of the evening about what's happening with the deadly LIAC, the Energy Office held a press conference earlier this afternoon offering some tips to the public on how to fight the deadly LIAC. Let's take a look. Unlike other places in the U.S. Uh, mainland that have uh, alternate sources of power production, they have other fuel sources that they rely on. They have hydro and uh, natural gas, coal, nuclear power. Um, for as long as, as we are stuck using fuel oil, um, we're going to be stuck paying high electric prices. Um, there is a lot of thoughts and concepts as to how we eliminate the LIAC, but um, if there's one thing I can disappoint you with this, this afternoon is that um, that's easier said than done. Our peak comes right around noon, 1 o'clock. We ramp up all through the morning. As businesses open up and turn on and get the ACs going and whatnot, the load starts to climb. Right around 12, 1 o'clock, we reach our peak at about 80 megawatts. We start to ramp down after that. And when everybody gets home from work and starts to fire up and prepare dinner and whatnot, we set our second peak. It's not as high as the first peak, but it's, it's just shy of it. And then we start to ramp down through the night, and we go down to that 50 megawatt piece, which means that 50 megawatts has to be available 24-7, 365, rain, sun, snow, whatever takes place, <laughs> we have to have that 50 megawatt. We when we come back from this break, we'll take a look at the NBBA playoffs in your Sports 411. Stay with us. Tonight in your Sports 411, we take a look at some NBBA playoffs. Take it away, Coop. Thanks a lot, Joe. Well, this past weekend, the playoff action continued in NBBA Summer Basketball League. First on Friday, we had Game 3 between Guidance and Legacy, where the Young Legacy team left it all on their court as they put the H in hustle. Check out team captain Sean, two-time fourth quarter team down 17, but you can't tell by the way they're hustling. As two-time dive into the stands for the loose ball. Oh, you get, this gotta be the playoffs. This gotta be the playoffs. Well, luckily, everyone was alright, man, woman, and child, including two-time as that play spotted a mini run led by two-time where it was too little, too late, as the defender chance was able to to crush the young legacy because they were so big and too fast as they went on to win 92 to 66. Kwasi said in here he grabbed 30 points along with 17 boards. Folks, guide us advanced to face the regular season champs Kings. Well, in game two, we had Boys and versus Hoyas. Last time these two meet, the game didn't finish. Well, Zamari Swanson, he had the touch early. For Hoyas with Eddie Castillo, hot sizzle, who had the hot hand? Folks, as we had an old-fashioned shootout in the OK Corral. As both guys went back and forth. Swanson with the answer back. Then Castillo matches his Swanson three ball. Then he raised him another three ball. Oh, buddy, as Hoyas was up by three early. Folks, then it was time to clear the runway as Air Aki Mountain Francis was ready to take off. Mountain, oh, he jumped so hard, he can touch the sky. Oh, buddy. Well, boys, them ended the half on a 6 0 run led by Terrell Christian. As boys, them led at the half 43 to 41. Third quarter, we had a Donald Hendrickson sighting as the Burger Man drops the free bomb. Then Francis, he tell Wilson first, you got to learn to live with rejection and said, oh, no, oh, no. That's nasty. Folks, then Francis, he delivered a knockout blow as high as one game, 185 to 71. After the game, I spoke to Coach Sammy for Hoyas. Talk about the win. Well, the win was a great win. Most important thing, and I see he's the best out of three. The first game is the most important thing. My guys came out playing, they wanted the game more than ever. You know what I mean? So they hold only play defense, go to get back on defense, and we got the win. It was a great win. Um, you had to tell your players anything about like trying to keep the calm um, from since what happened in the last game? Well, no, no, they know, they know better. But actually, it wasn't our fault. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It wasn't our fault. We didn't, our intention was not to play. We come, came out to play the same way we came out to play. You know, it was on daily half. But yes, it was a good game. Everybody shake hands. We all always won. You know, but that, we did that in the past. 
I'm a best of luck in the playoffs. Best of luck. Well, folks, the action continues tonight as we have game two between Kings and Guidance. Guidance took game one on Saturday. While Hoyos advanced to the championship as they eliminate boys them with a shot at the buzzer by Eddie Castillo. That's a look at your sports for one update. I'm Steven Francis from New Charlotte. Back to you, Jerome. Thanks, Coof. When we come back from this break, we'll take a look at your weather report for tonight and tomorrow.